One woman from Great Falls is looking to help instill confidence in young girls through the spirit of pageantry. MTN's McKenna Holman reports. A local Great Falls resident wanted to make a positive impact on her community, so she brought pageantry here to Montana. Oh, I'm really trying to bring um, that positive pageantry to this state um, because it's not very common. While yeah. stationed in Louisiana, Lisa began her experience with pageantry when her daughter competed for the first time at only a year old. Which pageantry is more common in the South, and so she started competing uh, just, I think she was just over a year old when we did our first one. and. Believe it or not, she was terrible. She cried on stage. She got last place. Um, but what I saw when I went was so much confidence from these little girls. And Lisa said one of the main reasons she started Big Sky Pageantry is to instill a level of confidence in the individuals who compete, regardless of their age. Kind of getting them ready and prepare for pageants and um, get them that confidence built up on stage because that's a lot to go up in, in front and so I would love to help build that confidence for the the girls and we also focus a lot on community service and that's a big thing with pageantry is community service and what you're doing to help out your community. Big Sky Pageantry is built on giving back to the community who has supported them tremendously in just their short time of being here in Great Falls. And we were brand new to this area. We've just been here a year so I didn't know a whole lot of people. I just did a lot of advertising, passing out flyers um, and we ended up being able to donate um, almost 4000 to the Children's rece Receiving Home. So um, that was a huge thing. For more information and for updates on upcoming events and pageants, you can go to our website. In Great Falls, I'm McKenna Holman, MTN News. Bands in Great Falls gathered at CMR on what is the 100th anniversary of composer John Seuss's Great Falls performance. MTN's Tommy Lynch attended the tribute. 100 years ago, the legendary composer John Philip Sousa came and performed in Great Falls. Now, the Great Falls community and municipal bands have come together to perform a centennial tribute. came from local band member Tom Railsback, who considers himself a sort of expert on all things Sousa. He discovered that Sousa had performed in Great Falls a handful of times in the early 1900s and thought a tribute concert should be had. Last spring, I brought up the board meeting of the municipal band and everybody was in favor, so we went ahead and started working on it. Sousa is an iconic composer and band leader known worldwide for his music, particularly his marches. Although a symbol of patriotism today, his popularity expands overseas. He really took what was a very young country at that point um, and brought our music around the world for people to enjoy. And um, there's just stories all over the place of people in Europe, people in South America, you know, they would just get up and start dancing in, in the aisles. The performance consisted of 11 pieces, nine of which were written by Sousa. The only time non Sousa music was played was to highlight two solo musicians who were once in the municipal band themselves. Jake and Hannah Kittleson each performed a solo, Jake on tuba and Hannah on French horn. Sousa did more than just revolutionize music. He set up standards that are still being used today. We have the band that he formed basically is how public school concert bands have been formed and emulated ever since. At the end of the show, the band played an encore, which was a Sousified version of Jingle Bells. While the 57-person band is only about half the size Sousa would have had, the sound and quality given by these performers is still fantastic. In Great Falls, I'm Tommy Lynch, MTN News.